Hi, I'm Evan Thomason with This Week in Santa Clarita. Right now, I am at the Westfield Valencia Town Center, and I'm joined with Stacy House. Uh, Stacy, there is a brand new art space that we're standing right in front of. Yes, we are. It's uh, in the indoor section of the mall, actually just leading into the patios by Diggit and Sears. And this is a, an area for us that we want to use consistently to really uh, put community art up so folks can walk by and enjoy what our community is capable of. And this is the second art space, because I know that uh, there's we've done features on the art space next to Sicily's. Mm -hmm. um, and now it's expanding. Uh, can you talk about how important it is to sort of embrace community art and events like this? Absolutely, and as folks come to Westfield, they will start to see more and more art incorporated around the center. We're really looking to make this more of the heartbeat of the community and really a community center where folks can come and enjoy various types of art um, that our, our community has produced. So uh, make sure that everyone takes note as they're walking around. We'll be utilizing this space, the Sicily space, and others will pop up as, as the months go on. And I know there's a lot of stuff going on this summer, and you guys are also putting on summer concerts as well. Mm -hmm. We are. We actually kicked off last week, which was July 5th, and we host them every Tuesday evening from the hours of 7 to 9 down in Town Square, which is uh, between Sicily and TGI Fridays. So come on out. We have a lot of uh, great performers lined up, and information about that can be found on our Facebook. You can li like us on Facebook at Westfield Valencia Town Center or visit our website at westfield.com slash Valencia. So right now I am joined with Julie Calderon, Community Center Supervisor and also President of the Art Tree, Bob Hernandez. Uh, and we are standing, Julie, in front of the Power mural behind us. Can you tell us how this uh, project came to take place? Well, it was about two summers ago. Um, we came up with uh, a partnership, Bob and I, uh, with the Art Tree, and we were collaborating together as far as doing a project with our kids at the Community Center. And last summer, um, Power, the uh, youth mentor group uh, headed by Efren Galindo. They were looking for a project for the youth um, and they came up with this uh, idea to have the kids do a painting mural and because we had this collaboration going on with Power, uh, with I'm sorry, with the Art Tree, um, it just came together that the Art Tree and the Community Center and Power would come up with this project together. Okay. And um, Bob is, we were kind of chatting before, you mentioned a lot of collaboration went in on this and the kids that worked on this were uh, very engaged. Yeah, they were. Uh, what happened was uh, we spent probably as long a time, you know, coming up with a concept and, and really brainstorming about what it is they wanted to say than the mural itself because we knew how important that was to the kids to express themselves as to who they were as a group, as kids, as the neighborhood, you know, they wanted to express that. Okay. And, you know, we're looking at the, you know, looking at the mural, um, we can see it covers uh, very many different things about New Hall and it's kind of a timeline as you explained to me before. Yeah, they, uh, they actually came up the, with the idea of a timeline and we thought it's a perfect thing because what's happening is uh, Newhall is going through a revitalization right now and to be able to see the past from the indigenous people to the, the train and the, the change of time and, and, and see what's going on today uh, is, is a major statement they, they could make. And how important are programs like this? I mean, you know, there are summer programs and they certainly keep these kids occupied when they have, um, you know, some extra time on their hands. Very, very important. You know, this is a mentorship program. It's a way of uh, keeping them off the streets. And they're, you know, they actually feel like they're important and productive members of society at this point, you know, when they have projects like this that show off what they can do. Um, and they keep coming back, you know, these, these programs are important, you know, not only for them, but for us as a community to give, you know, to work off of each other and just show the community what the kids are capable of. Well, uh, Julie and Bob, I want to thank you for joining us. Um, Westfield Valencia Town Center, we also want to give a big thank you and a shout out to them for allowing this to take place here. Again, we're near Diggit in Sears, and this is the Power Mural. Uh, for this week in Santa Clarita, I'm Evan Thomason.